Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to VFX World and uh, thank you for watching my last video. I hope you guys enjoyed that a lot. So today I'll show you Planet Tracker as I told in my previous video. So I hope yesterday's video uh, you guys loved a lot. So today this in this footage I'll show you how Planet Tracker is exactly working inside of Silhouette. So guys before starting Planet Tracker I want to tell you in pl the Planet Tracker option is also available in Nuke and that is far better than Silhouette. So in production we are not using much planet tracker but yes, sometimes sometimes what happened we need to roto by by uh, sorry we need to uh, yes the track via uh, planet tracker but um, most of the time we are using a nuke for planet tracker okay because there are so many options uh, available over there okay so uh, first of all from view take a object list from here and then press a new layer then press shift and T now see there's a planet tracker options so this is a planet tracker option inside of planet tracker option you have the same play uh, next frame button the minimum features maximum features minimum distance max and maximum average and the same pre-processing which i have shown you in my previous tutorial if you didn't watch my previous tutorial just go and watch that first and then come in this video because this option uh, i explain it in my previous uh, video which was based on point tracking inside of silhouette okay so these are the channels like channels is luminance red green and blue if you on the green options and open this preview then uh, when you increase the contrast and sharpness and all the only the green part will be affected then go to the luminance then total part will be affected now guys uh, i want to tell you one thing the minimum features is like 200 so 200 features is like a tracker point like maximum features is 1000 so inside of 200 to 1000 the tracker will be coming okay the minimum distance between trackers is 3 and maximum average is 10 okay so do not touch all this because these are the default things and if you increasing this then you have to get a proper knowledge that why you are using don't use it like randomly like it's 200 then make it 400 it's very bad thing okay so turn this preview off so I have to do this a roto for this like so press a B spline or base here or anything you guys want to take so now I have to make a shapes uh, so let's make the shape like this do not use it like too much precise because otherwise you have to make it again so just make it roughly and like this okay fine so now the shape is done press shift T now you guys can see the points that came right now then just simply just play it so now you guys can see the track is right now happening the edges and it's stick on his uh, edges it's feel like it completely feel like nuke 3d tracking but it's not a 3d tracking it's a planet tracking so when this happened see the track is properly in, the, in fact you guys can see there's so many greens over there the greens are exactly good good track and sometimes what happened the red marks are also coming so red marks are not tracked well but in this video I can't see yes these are some red marks okay this is only came for the first frame I think the first frame is not tracked properly or maybe it's tracked so just uh, make it turn off press B and now what I have to do we have to make some shapes which will be a roto shape so just click here click here and uh, click here and it click here and the last one will be here and now select all this press alt and just click and then click so now it's become like this the sharpest edge so I'm just making it down because it's actually in fact in down so just make it down here and yes this is fine and this one also should go here okay so next let's change this color to red so you guys can understand it now when you play this see it's tick so stabilize it same thing happened for planet tracker as well the track will not properly come in fact uh, uh, when the, your footage is not getting cleared but I don't know in this footage is coming on now wow the track is really well only the last two frames it's getting little jerk so what do you have to do you have to just make it manually precise so until here it's really well uh, and uh, so make it a dummy keyframe so what is dummy frame I explained it in my previous video just go and watch this so up and down so now dummy frame it's happened now see first frame it's going this way so press T and just manually you have to adjust it and uh, see the shapes are not in proper way so just make the shapes on his actual position so that your track will come properly uh, sorry the output will come properly and then next frame again it's going this way so just select and move it the positions on the exactly same way and make this one little down 
and this one here okay so now the last three frames are fixed see okay so I think this watch help you, uh, this will help you a lot and this is little here so just make it little big like this okay cool so this is the way how planet tracker is exactly working I hope this will help you a lot for understanding what is planet tracker and by using this way you guys can uh, track and by using planet tracker so I hope this tutorial will help you a lot and our next video will be based on mocha tracking and if you didn't watch my previous videos this video footage link is in description as well just go and download and before leaving this video what do you have to do just subscribe press the like button and the bell button and guys thank you for making my channel this much popular I will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy and bye bye